Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, flavor twisters, we are going to make some delicious deviled eggs. In front of you, I have some onion powder, some garlic powder, I have some yellow mustard, some mayo, some hot sauce, I have some red wine vinegar, and I have salt and pepper right here. And right here, I have some chives. And also, I'm going to use some paprika. I forgot to put that out. Let me get that. Okay. And I have some paprika over here also. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is get these eggs boiled. I'm going to boil them for about 15 minutes. And I'm going to shell them and slice them. And we're going to take the yolks out and mix all our goodies up. Be right back, let me get my eggs on. And guys, I wanted to come back on. I'm not gonna be using black pepper in my deviled eggs. I'm just so used to salt and pepper going together, so I will be using salt, but no black pepper, cause I'm gonna be using hot sauce. So, I just wanted to get back on and tell you that. Okay guys, I'm back and our eggs have been boiling for 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is cut them off and I'm going to show you just how I'm going to shell them. Okay guys, I'm back. Now I have our eggs in just some cold water. Um, I didn't put ice in it, but this is how my mom showed me how to do them. Take your egg, crack it on the side of the bowl and just put it back in the water. That's all you have to do. And what happens, some of that water goes up in the egg shell and it makes it so easy to peel. So what I'm gonna do is crack these guys and I'll leave these sit for about five minutes. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get the egg shells off. I got 12 eggs here. I think I got them all. Okay, so this is a dozen, and this will make 24 eggs. There we go. So, I'm going to let these sit for about five minutes, and then I'm going to shell them, and we're going to mix up our deviled egg. See you then. Okay, guys, so it has been five minutes. So, I got one of the eggs here, and look at this. See how easy it comes off? Look at that. See? They peel real quick. You, so when you crack the egg, it kind of lets the water go in and then the egg shell just floats off. This is the way my mom taught me. She didn't put it in ice or none of that. She just cracked them on the side. And look at this. You can't get it no quicker than this. This comes right off. So I'm going to finish doing these guys. And we're going to get to making our um, filling for our deviled eggs. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have our eggs shelled. And I'm slicing them in half. Just like that. And I'm going to put the yolks in this bowl. And we're going to mix up our deviled eggs. So, let me finish cutting these up. And I can take the yolks out and put them in the bowl. Okay, guys. Now I have our yolks in the bowl. And I'm just going to take my fork and mash them. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to add the rest of our delicious ingredients. Okay. Perfect. Just want to mash them up so you don't want any big pieces in there. Now, that teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to mix this around and I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, now it's going to get good. 
Okay. Now what we're going to do is add our mayo. Now guys, to start off, I'm just going to add about three te heaping tablespoons of mayo. Okay. And I'm spilling mayo everywhere. All right. Okay. So, let me get this up. There we go. Now, I'm going to blend this. Might need more, but I'll see. Look like that might be enough. Because you don't want it running. Okay. Mm, I can smell the onion and garlic. Now, for the mustard, we're going to add some. Probably a couple teaspoons of that or tablespoons. Because I'm going to tell you guys, in my deviled eggs, I like a lot of mustard. I like to taste the mustard. Take a one tablespoon. I'm going to probably put three. You could use yellow mustard, Dijon mustard. It's good with the Dijon too, guys. Okay, put one more. Because you want that twang in there. And that's what the mustard gives you. Okay. So I'm going to mix this around. Mmm, this smells good. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is add about a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. Okay. Put that in. It's just for the zest of it. There we go. This is going to be so good, guys. Mmm, yeah. Okay, now, now what you want to do is add your hot sauce. I'm going to take like about a tablespoon of that. And I'll taste it afterwards to see um, how spicy it is. It all depends on your liking, guys, whether you like it hot, a little bit of tanginess or spicy. Mm-hmm. That's where the devil part comes in at. <laughs> okay. Now what I want to do is taste this. It's not much to making a devil day, guy, but you want it to taste good. Mm, mm, mm. That's delicious. Now that tablespoon was just enough. For my family because I can't make it too hot. But you know what, guys? Let's throw a little sweetness in here. I'm going to put some relish in. Hold on. Now, I have two tablespoons of relish, and that's all I'm going to add. Or you can add pickles. I wish I had some dill pickles, but my husband eats them all, so... I can't keep a dill pickle in my refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Now let me taste this again. See how it tastes. It looks really good and it smells delicious. Wrench my spoon off here and give it another taste. I'm going to taste it for salt. Mmm. That's good. And that um, relish added a, just the right sweetness to it. So I don't have to add any sugar or anything. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to put this in a baggie. Um, I have a Ziploc bag here. So I'm going to use this. I have pastry bags, but... They're, I don't feel like cleaning those things out after I get done with them. <laughs> and that's being lazy, but what I'm going to do now is add this 
see the Ziploc bag. And you know I found the easy way of doing this too. Um, I'm going to take my ice cream scoop and scoop it out. Okay. Just scoop it out and it goes right in the bag. There you go. See how easy that is? Mmm, yeah. There we go. And we're just going to squirt this in our eggs. That'll make the filling come out nice and you won't have it all over the eggs. I have used a spoon doing this, but it was kind of messy. So I start putting it in a bag or pastry bag and doing it that way. But see what good thing about this, I don't have to clean the pastry bag out. I could just throw this bag here away. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, y'all. Don't judge me. Okay. Here we go. All right. There we go. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to get this all down in one side like this. And I have my little eggy waggies on the tray here. Okay. Let's that's 12 going around here, and it's 16 all together there. And I have a few more on this plate right here, because I had 12 eggs, so that gave me 24. So now, what I'm gonna do is take my kitchen shears and just clip the end like that, and just start squirting it in there. Fill the eggs up. Mmm, yum, guys. See how this is? Okay. Just squeeze it on down in there. And I'm still getting it all over. <laughs> Maybe I should have used the pastry bag. Okay. Because it has the tip on it. So it's not really going all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to finish filling these, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to put on top of them. Okay, guys, I am finished filling our eggs, and what I have here is the paprika, and I like to just sprinkle paprika on the eggs for a little color. Okay, come on, get out the box. I always have problems getting this out of this big container, but it's coming out. Just sprinkle it on like that. These are going to be so good, guys. Okay. I always like a lot of color on my eggs. And this is the holiday season, so you want them to look a little festive. Put some more over there. There we go. It looks pretty good. Now, what you want to do is take the, ch the chives. And um, I just sprinkle a little bit of chives over them. And that gives it a nice oniony, chivey flavor. There we go. You got to try this on your eggs, guys. It's really delicious. I even make popcorn and milk butter all over it and sprinkle chives on it and I'm trying to tell you guys it's delicious okay and I have my other little plate of eggs over here and I'm going to do the same thing with them and then we're going to taste them doesn't that look pretty Okay, guys, I'm back, and look at our beautiful deviled eggs. Now, I'm going to give them a taste. I'm going to taste one from this tray over here because I have to still do my thumbnail. Mmm, yum, look at this, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, these are delicious. And that really gave it a nice pop of sweetness to it. Um, and you could taste the chives on the top. They're delicious, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
one thing about deviled eggs, when I go to a function, I can basically clear the platter. I have to stop myself. Mmm. These are delicious. I'm going in for another one. <laughs> These are so good. Oh my God, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Look. Mmm. Mmm. They're so good. So, make these for your family, guys. Like I said, the holidays are coming up. Devil Days is something that you can sit out with your hors d'oeuvres, some finger food, and that will keep everybody busy until your dinner is ready. So, for this recipe and more, go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.